Yes, we can. Jamaica's Akira Nugent and Kemba Nelson will successfully defend their NCAA titles on March 11th to 12th. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel for our first official 2022 prediction video. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day, every day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Stay tuned for our prediction video about Jamaica's Akira Ninja Nugent and Kimba Nelson defending their NCAA Division I title come March 11th and 12th. When you're ready? Yep. Yep. Good to go. In today's video, we discuss our predictions for Jamaica's Kimba Nelson and Akira Nugent as to whether or not we think they will successfully defend their Div Division I NCAA titles, which they both got last year, 2021, at the same meet. This now, of course, will be uh, March 11th and 12th in this year, 2022. We're going to tell you why we think they will both successfully defend their titles. Now, Jamaicans Akira Nugent of Baylor University and Kemba Nelson of the University of, of Oregon will defend their respective titles at the 2022 NCAA Division I Indoor Track and Field Championships which will be held at the Birmingham Crossplex in Birmingham, Alabama, this March 11th to 12th. Now, both women who are their school, their school's uh, respected uh, record holders in their events were named on the list of qualifiers for the two-day event on Tuesday, along with 30 other Jamaicans who finished in the top 16 in their respective events as the U.S. college indoor season ended last weekend. Now, Akira Nugent, the former Excel Excelsior High runner, is ranked number five with a season's best of 7.190 seconds over the 60-meter hurdles, while Kemba Nelson, formerly of Mount Alvernia High in Montego Bay, Jamaica, and the University of Technology, is ranked sixth in her event with a season's best of 7. 0.15 seconds her event of course if you don't know is the 60 meters flat the dash no hurdles flat here is a highlight of jamaica's akira nugent winning her ncaa division one title last year Nugent won that title in a time of 7.91, which tied then record over the 60-meter hurdles and surprised many 
But here is one of the reasons why I think she's going to successfully defend that title. She has been on a winning streak ever since. She went, she won at the, she went on to win at, in Nairobi in the World Athletics Under 20. Started, started her 2022 season in a massive winning streak, running extremely good times. Her PB so far this season is actually 7.89. Am I correct? Yes, I think 7.89. Uh, I know it's, seven, it's not 7.81. Yes, her season's best so far is 7.89. Now here she is. This is a, another reason why I think she's going to successfully defend. Here she's winning at the big... She won at the Big 12 Indoor Championships held recently the title of champion over the 60 meter hurdles in the women's division and won in a commanding fashion. This of course is one of the big tests in the collegiate circuit scene before that NCAA run which happens within the, well I think very very soon between the 11th and the 12th. Watch the race. As I said, she won in commanding form and ran a time of 7.91, which is still not quite her, her personal best thus well, her personal best or her season's best thus far. I think, I speak confidently for us here at Peter Lloyd World, that I predict that she will successfully defend her title in the women's 60 meter dash at the Division I NCAA Championships, which will be held in Birmingham, Alabama. 
um, on the, between the March 11th and 12th. Yes, we can. Say it with me. Yes, we can. Okay, next up, of course, is Kemba Nelson. Kemba Nelson, of course, is another Jamaican speedster. She specializes in the 60-meter dash. Last year, she shocked many, running a NCAA title uh, record time to win at the NCAA Division I in the women's 60-meter dash in 2021. Here she is, setting that record and winning her title. Kemba Nelson has also been having a solid 2022 season, running a season's best thus far, I think, of 7.15. If I'm incorrect, one of you, please correct me. She, of course, ran at the Razorback Invitational, winning in a time of 7.16. She has not won as consistently as an Akira Nugent, but her times have been solid thus far, although her times have not been close to her, her personal best over the same distance she also made it onto, onto the Bowerman's women's watch list which is a big deal in the collegiate circuit and making it onto onto that list means you are definitely one to watch now recently in her last race which we're about to show you she well she ran 7.1 7.15 seconds at the pace in pace 12 invitational but um, although she had the same time with her, her Oregon teammate, uh, Jaden Mays, the win was given to Jaden Mays and she was placed second, but they both had the same time. I am really confident that she is going to successfully defend her uh, NCAA Div Division 1 60 meter titles. Whether or not she title, whether or not she'll be able to run a, a, new, a new PB, I, I, I can't say for sure, but I just have a very strong feeling. This is more like a vibe or a gut, and based on the kind of races I've been seeing her run, um, the only loss that I know she's had so far is this loss, and she ran the same time as the person who beat her. So, um, I think, yes, yes we can. Now, here is that race with Kemba Nelson. So there you have it, our first of, our official prediction video for 2022. We predict here at Peter Lloyd World that Jamaica's and Baylor University's um, Akira Nugent will successfully defend her 60-meter women's hurdles title at the upcoming NCAA Division I, um, which will be happening in Birmingham, Alabama, Birmingham, Alabama between the 10th, the 11th and 12th of, of this month, March. We also are very convinced that Jamaica's um, Kemba Nelson, who runs for Oregon, the, will also successfully defend her 60 meter dash title. And I, I don't think she'll be able to reproduce the time she did last year, but I really think she will be able to win. Both women have been running very consistently. Um, Nugent has been pretty much unbeaten all season over the 60 meter hurdles. And the, the, the one loss I know of with young Kemba Nelson, she ran the same time. So that's our prediction video. Don't forget to hit, let me know if you believe that we are right or wrong and tell us why. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button so we can continue to, continue to grow here at Peter Lloyd World. Remember the goal now is 20,000 uh, subs. We'll get there with your assistance. Also, if you enjoy the content, hit the like button. The algorithms on YouTube love it and there's no more dislike button and we need the engagement and it's free so hit the like button people and finally um, 
you know, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Oh, go in and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video about once a day every day here. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think we are right or do you think we are wrong about these predictions? You are kings and queens. Greatness personified.